Austin's annual Funky Chicken Coop Tour is less than two months away. The popular tour, scheduled this year for March 30th, offers advice for the rapidly growing number of aspiring backyard chicken farmers here in Austin. But new at 6 o'clock, KXAN's Jim Swift brings us the updated story of an actual backyard chicken expert who is now rising out of the laying barns at Texas A&M University. The young man crossing the grounds of the Texas Aggie Poultry Science Farm in College Station is named Jesse Hooth. Nobody calls him that, though, as we first learned back in the summer of 2004. Everyone that knows me calls me Chicken Boy, because <laughs> that's what I am. I'm Chicken Boy. Back then, when Chicken Boy was still just 13 years old, he already had a flock of over 100 chickens. Man, he was beginning to talk their talk. It's kind of the announcement that it's like, I just laid an egg in this in this box, come lay your egg, and it's... In those days, Chicken Boy was pretty much breaking even every month with a little egg delivery business. Now, the recent A&M graduate with a degree in poultry science is still messing with eggs in his new role as an Aggie graduate student, focusing on chicken welfare and behavior. We're doing incubation tests, testing how uh, light influences the hatch rate of chicks. But whose specialty is chicken stress tests? Like, for example, the hen inversion. We flip the birds upside down and they count how many wing beats they flap and how much time it takes for them to calm down. But the question, I suppose, is why in the world would you want to do that? It's good for transporting the birds, but it's also an indicator of stress is why you do it. Uh, a bird that would flap longer, for instance, might indicate that it's a little bit more stressed because it's trying to struggle against whatever the force is that's holding it versus another bird that just sort of lays back would have less of a chance to be stressed. And that would be the bird you would want. And that would be the bird you'd want, yes. So you could DNA it out so that that's what you got. Exactly. Along the way, though, Chicken Boy has picked up some more foul language. For instance, uh, if a rooster is courting a hen, he'll sort of drop his wing to one side, shuffle around her, and go... So what now lies ahead for Chicken Boy? I would like to get a doctorate and be known as Dr. Chicken. <laughs> uh, and then after I'm done with college, either with the master's or the doctorate, I want to go into consulting. Meanwhile, if you're stumped by a backyard chicken question, Chicken Boy is your man. <coughs> In College Station, Jim Swift, <laughs> KXAN News. <laughs> Wow. Most of the research going on at the A&M Poultry Farm focuses on commercial chicken operations, so people who call with questions about backyard coops are usually referred to Chicken Boy. So if you need help with your chickens, we have the info you'll need to catch him in between crows and clucks. Just cluck on the story, get it, under the Texas News tab at kxan.com. Excellent story. Yes. Excellent.